Now that we have the base of our Spring Boot application up and ready to go, it's time to start building it out. So the first thing I'm going to do is start with my domain. I need to represent a single tasks in a single task in our application. So to do so, we have this domain object called task, and I'm going to start adding some stuff to it. So now we're we're working with Spring Data here in H2, so this is an entity, so I'm going to go ahead and annotate that with entity. I'm actually going to annotate it with uh, data as well from Lombok, and we're going to get an all args constructor from Lombok as well. If you don't know anything about that, just go ahead and check out Project Lombok. It's pretty cool, and it just adds some convenient methods, convenient abilities to our domain class here. So we're going to start out with a, we need a long ID. We also need a name, so that's the name of the task. We also, remember we had a due date. This is actually going to be a local date, so we're talking about using Java 8's local date class, and that's going to be called due date. And finally, we're going to have a Boolean for completed. So let's mark a couple things here. This is going to need to be ID and at generated value. And we're also going to use something here so we're going to use JSON format, which is going to come from Jackson. And this is going to allow us to basically just format our date here. And in our case, we want a month, day, year. And to do so, I'm going to have to pull that in. And let's come back here. And so let's pull this dependency in. I need Jackson. JSR, that's right. Don't need that. Okay, let's auto import that. Okay, so this looks pretty good so far. This is going to be our domain object. Now that we have our domain object, we can jump in and create our repository. So this is actually going to extend our CRUD repository. So we need a type, and the type here is going to be task and that is from here and then we need an id which is or the id type which is long and that should give us everything we need to get started with that so let's just make sure this is right task and long yeah we should be good to go here so now we have a domain object uh, that represents a single task we have a task repository which is going to handle the persistence for us and now we can start to build out our application so let's jump into the task controller here and in the controller we're probably going to want a couple of methods and let's just start with one so one we need a way to get any of the data that's in our database so we could use at request mapping and then you know the default is get but I'm actually going to use another annotation, get mapping. So we know this is a get mapping. And I'm going to say the value is going to be one of two things, either that or slash. And all this does is say if we went to localhost 8080, that would work, or localhost 8080 slash. So that's going to work for either. And now what we need to do is come up with public iterable. We're going to get an iterable of task, and we'll call this list tasks. And that should go ahead and get us what we need. So we're going to return null for now. So now what we need to be able to do that is we need to reach out to our repository. And to do so, we're probably going to want to jump through our service. So let's first start with our service. And if we go to our service, we're going to need to create a iterable of task. And we'll call this list. Wait, what do we call this here? List task. Let's call it list. And then in our implementation, we'll go ahead and implement methods. So now, I'm not sure why that didn't pull in. Okay, so now we have an implementation. And to do so, we're actually going to need to go out to our repository. So if I create a private 
uh, what was it, task repository. We'll call this task repository. I'm going to create a new constructor here that's going to take of type task repository. And in this case, we're using Spring 4.3 Plus, so we don't need to add the at autowired annotation here. So we should be good to go. So we should be able to say this dot task repository dot find all. And that should satisfy that. What is this? Clashes with list in task service. So let's do this. Iterable task list, that's right. And this is right now. Okay, so everything looks good from our service standpoint. So now from our task controller, we're gonna do the same thing. And we're gonna run a pull in our task service. So task service, task service. And we'll just create a new constructor here that takes that. And that should give us exactly what we need. Now we can call this .taskService.list. And so now our controller, when we call a method, see we're not pulling this in. When we call the, or when we hit localhost 8080 or sl slash on the end, we're actually calling a method called list that's gonna reach out to our task service, which handles the business logic for us. It passes that responsibility onto the repository to uh, for our persistence layer and it's going to return to us an iterable list of tasks. So, so far all of this looks good. I think we're gonna stop on this one and in the next lesson what we'll do is go ahead and create some initial data and test out our Spring Boot application before we move on to the Angular side of things.